Hey guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Joes. We're coming to you from massivejoes.com. Gonna be showing you how to correctly, or how to first not do, and then secondly, how to correctly do the leg press. One of the most stuffed up exercises we see on leg day week after week. Man, three ways to stuff up a leg press. First way is those top half partial reps. Those reps look like this, man. Those kind of reps that you see the guys when they load up the leg press, thinking that Ronnie Coleman come down and do these quarter reps. Yes, you are gonna stimulate a little bit of muscle growth. You are gonna hit quads and glutes a little, but what's the point, man? Come on, get serious. You gotta get deep with those reps. That's the first way to stuff it up. Second way to stuff it up is actually to get full depth with your reps, but putting your hands on your knees. Oh, I love this way of doing leg press. This is another one of those. This is the, we're gonna call this the AKA, the ego leg press, because look at that. You're actually hitting, this is a full body workout right here. You're not just gonna hit quads and glutes, you're hitting triceps as well. You're probably hitting a little bit of chest too. Man, when I do leg press, my training partner puts his hands on his knees in the middle of leg press, extra five reps. Straight away, every time, extra five reps. Get those hands off those knees, man. The third way to stuff up a leg press. Ooh, man, I hate watching this. This hurts my knees watching this, and every time I see this in the gym, it makes me want to break down in tears. This is a one-way ticket to Snap City, man. Locking your legs out the top of the leg press. You're gonna do all kinds of damage to your knees. I actually can't watch this vision. I'm turning away right now. I can't watch this anymore. This hurts too much to see it. Do not lock your legs out of the leg press. Anyway, how to correctly leg press. All right, first thing you wanna do is set your feet, right? So there's a few different ways to set your feet, a few different variations, obviously. This is what we're gonna call our neutral stance. So shoulder width apart, middle of the plate is the conventional way to leg press. If you wanna hit more quad and less glute, what you can do is you can take your feet down on the, on the plate, down to a little bit lower on the plate, it's gonna hit more quads, less glute. You wanna hit more hamstring, less quad, take those feet right up to the top of the leg press and push with your heels, it's gonna hit more hamstring, less quad. The other variation is to go middle of the plate, but to move your feet out. So if you move your feet out to the side like that, that's gonna hit a lot more inner quad there. And then if you move your feet right to the middle of the plate, that's gonna hit your outer quad sweep. Another thing you can do is kind of point your toes in towards each other, point your heels out. That's also gonna hit a little bit more of that outer quad sweep for you also. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna do the neutral stance. Shoulder width apart, middle of the plate, unrack the weight and go deep. Deep, wild bull star right there, man. All the way down, you get to the bottom of the rep, you're pausing, you're focusing. My muscle connection should be on contracting your glutes, contracting your quads, all the way up on every single rep, man. Look at that, you can see all of those muscles firing right there, making sure you don't lock out at the top, constant tension through your quads and glutes. Guys, that is how to correctly leg press. You gotta hit yourself the subscribe button. You gotta hit that, cause you've seen a few of these videos now and you know that we're giving you the right advice in the gym with Team Massive Joes. Guys, that is how to correctly leg press and we are coming to you from massivejoes.com.